The Saudi Arabian foreign minister is in Damascus, a development that hints at the possibility of ending Syria's Arab isolation in the near future. Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud landed in capital city Damascus on Tuesday and met with the Syrian President Bashar Al Assad. This is the first such visit by a high ranking Saudi official since the start of the Syrian civil war. In its statement, the Saudi Foreign Ministry said that visit highlights the kingdom's desire to find a political solution to the Syrian conflict that would, quote unquote, preserve the country's Arab identity and return to its Arab surroundings. The trip comes less than a week after Syrian Foreign Minister Faisal Meghdad visited Saudi Arabia. According to the statement issued by Riyadh, the two leaders discussed the steps needed to reach a comprehensive political settlement of the Syrian crisis, which will then help achieve national reconciliation and contribute to the return of Syria to the Arab fold. Talking about last week, diplomats from nine Arab countries met in Jeddah to discuss the end to Syrian isolation. If Syria rejoins the Arab League, it would be a big win for Bashar al-Assad. But the road to success is never easy. A handful of Arab League members have expressed their resistance to bringing in Syrian back from the cold. Qatar, for once, is staunchly against the move. Even Egypt is wary, fearing action from the US. The Syrian presidency was largely isolated by major Arab nations after the decade-old uprising and Assad's following crackdown on protesters in 2011. But in recent weeks, the region has witnessed a major reshuffle of sorts. Diplomacy of truce has taken over. Years of rivalries are ending. The winds of change started blowing last month after China brokered an unprecedented truce deal between Saudi Arabia and Iran, something US never saw coming.